So for a double coated dog, all you really need is a slicker brush, which they come in a lot of different variations. This one's flexible. Um, this one's rigid and a metal comb. And we'll go through how to use these correctly on the dog. You can use, there's a lot of different things out there. There are some that have curved teeth and these have kind of like a little blade underneath. These work well for pulling out the undercoat, but they can be very harsh if used incorrectly. You can pull too much of the coat out. And on some dogs with really long hair, like your golden retriever or your great Pyrenees, these can actually catch that primary coat. And because it has a blade, it can actually cut that primary coat instead of just pulling it out gently. And there's another rake I use. It's in my wash area. Let me grab it. I'm about to use it on Susie. Is this one is just a straight tooth. And it doesn't have any blades to it. And this works really well. And I, I use this one, I'm, I'm about to use it on Susie, to pull out the undercoat while she's in the bath and it comes out really nice and easy when it's all wet. Just like us, when we comb our hair in the shower after we put the conditioner on, um, it, it works really well. But I tend to tell clients a slicker brush and a comb, that's all you need. Um, and there's a technique to using them. So we'll go over that when Susie gets to the brushing aspect. 